Assalamualaikum. Hi, uh, madam and my fellow friends. My name is uh, Shamilin and this is my group mates. And we are from group one. would like to present about business plan that we propose to Muhammad Shazwan's company. Okay, next slide. Okay, so this is the company profile. Uh, Muhammad Shazwan bin Muhammad Fauzi is the name registered for his company since he took over his father's business and make it to his own name. As you can see here, uh, it is a logo of his company business and his vision is to give customer which focusing on kids and men what they want and bring it to them uh, better than anybody else. This company's success may be attributed to such a simple, short and plain statement and his company's mission is to inspire, improve and serve their customers with the finest product and services and also to improve the quality of life of customers, workers and business partners. Okay, talk about their uh, nature of business. They did the retailing type of business. Retailing is the business of selling goods and services to customers. It usually entails a company established for that purpose, uh, selling individual units or small amount to a large uh, number of buyer. Retailing, like most other commercial activity, is highly competitive and retail business have their high rate. And the major part of competition is pricing. So, as the small business of men clothing and retailer in night market, Muhammad Shazwan offer a high quality and reasonably priced clothing by managing everything from procurement, design and production to retail sales. So, we did uh, propose the short, medium and long term goals and also the sustainability to this company. So, the most important and possible to achieve is uh, to get a social media account and websites within one year and increase their profit with 2% uh, of product price over next two months. <clears throat> For medium uh, term goals, within the next two or three years, they can list to achieve for developing a new product with their uh, own brand and increase their market share and profits up to 7%. For the long-term goals, they can expand into a new uh, geograph geographic market and attain to a new demographic and also increasing the uh, number of products offered. Lastly, for the proposed um, sustainability, they can use a sustainable uh, materials in their production uh, such as their clothes uh, that made from recycled fabric and using cotton linen as the materials. Okay, next slide. <coughs> Okay, uh, so the, um, next we continue about their description of uh, venture. The products they offered is men's and kids attire, such as uh, jeans, t-shirt and long sleeve and pyjamas. Uh, the size of his business is known as micro enterprise since they only have uh, one worker. Uh, the office equipment they use in their business is like a stand bar, hanger, uh, steel bar, canopy, uh, portable, uh, gasoline generator and of course um, clothes rack right hanger. Last but not least, uh, the background of the entrepreneur in the right side, uh, there is a picture of Shazwan and his father, uh, which is uh, Muhammad Fauzi. So his full name is Muhammad Shazwan bin Muhammad Fauzi and was born in 1989, which this business has already started. He holds a Bachelor of Office System Management in UITM Dungun Terengganu. After he graduated, uh, he ventured into oil and gas field before he took over his father's business in 2017. Until now, uh, about six years, he still operates the, uh, this business with some locations in Selangor, including Shah Alam. So that's all for my part. Now I will pass to Elmira to continue. Um, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nafata Elmira binti Muhammad Nasri. Okay, so I will explain about the pastel. Pastel analysis is a concept in marketing principle and Basically, organization use this idea as a tool to keep track of the external factors affecting their business. Uh, Pastel analysis including political, economic, social, technological, environmental and legal. Okay, first uh, is the political. Shazwan Fauzi is a supplier. Shazwan, Shazwan Fauzi supplier are from Thailand and the government has the power to encourage businesses to buy fabrics made in the overseas, especially if uh, import taxes uh, from other countries is increased. And then the economic, even though the economic is still recovering from the effect of COVID-19, more people are finding extra money to spend on fashion, clothing and accessories. Uh, but Shazwan Fauzi enterprise are affordable and the majority of the selection are fashionable. 
And then for the social, people choose their clothing based on the occasion, which is determined by the cultural custom. Uh, the technological is uh, for many people, online buying is a uh, fantasy. However, Shazam Fawzi business do not have uh, any online, sh online shopping platform. And then for the environmental, uh, some clothing is not safe for the planet. Uh, cotton is used in many clothing, but it must first be selected and then shipped all over the world to be sewn into the denim. Okay, why I select that? Because Shazam Fawzi uh, basically he sell uh, men's and kids clothing and the men's clothing it sell the jeans okay and then the last is legal the clothing sector must adhere to the some legal guidelines the co they comply to tax limitation export limits and inflation expenses in order to remain lawful okay next slide okay so next is the Porter's, uh, Porter's five forces analysis. First is the bargaining power of customers. Shazam Fauzi business uh, is using a vertical integration. It is a supply chain model to consistently roll out new trendy fashion for its men and kids consumer, resulting in higher customer satisfaction. Okay, next is uh, bargaining power of suppliers. Shazam Fawzi business should consider its manufacturing uh, because majority of its product is coming from Thailand. And then the competitive rivalry providing new and often updated fashion trends at a reasonable cost. Okay, next is trade of new entrants. Um, due to the low customer switching costs, Shazam Fawzi value proposition is to provide customer with immediate access to top quality clothing at a reasonable price and then it resulting in brand loyalty and uniqueness and then making it difficult uh, for new entrants to enter market themselves uh, as unique and different. And then for the trade or substitute, substitute provide a low trade to Shazam Fauzi. Uh, the many collection can also serve a substitute, allowing people to wear the same side throughout the year. Okay, that's all from me. So my part, uh, will, I will talk about marketing mix for fees for Shazwan Fauzi's shop. So the first is product strategy. So as a business owner, uh, you could prefer to sell your own retail products rather than those of big business. So based on our research, Shazwan Fauzi, corporate branding approach, uh, for example, create the perception that its retail product are the most reasonable price with high quality material in the market. So the next is a uh, pricing strategy. So uh, this technique uh, through which business price their product or service is referred to as pricing strategy. So sales and loyalty will increase your charge to the right price. Uh, with this in mind, you must price your products competitively in comparison to your nearest competitor. If uh, you keep it up, Shazwan Fauzi Shop will become a popular place at a night market for shop clothing shop. So for the third uh, strategy is promotion strategy. So a uh, promotion strategy is to ensure that your words reach the people you want to address while promoting your business. So Shazwan Fawzi Shop, in my view, may use social media platform like Facebook because Facebook provides business with a more re relaxed, uh, relaxed environment in which to sell their clothing product. And the lastly is distribution strategy. So a uh, distribution, distribution strategy is a plan or strategy for making a product or service available to target their market. So uh, Shazwan Fauzi business is located in an area where distribution is easily accomplished as most shops are located in the night market around Selangor. So we can rely on that way of distribution to save more money for their business. So uh, uh, the next part is organization plan. So the first is form of ownership. So Shazwan company is a sole proprietorship company. This is because company default structure, even though it has and not, uh, hasn't hasn't have any field, any paper to form a legal organization. Uh, it also owned by a single person, which is Muhammad Shazwan bin Bon Muhammad Fauzi. And then no need to get consensus uh, before making a decision about the business because it belongs to him. 
and the next part is a role and responsibilities member. So uh, founder of this company is Muhammad Shauzan bin Muhammad Fauzi and the responsibility of uh, members to their company is to ensure the company runs effectively, achieve its goals and maintain a good reputation. And the worker of Shazwan Fauzi shop is Muhammad Amin bin Muhammad Razi as a customer service at uh, night market uh, around Selangor. So uh, Muhammad Amin uh, responsibility is assisting with placement of order, refund or exchange and maintaining a good relationship with customer. So that's all of, of my part. I will pass to the next presenter. Hi, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum, my name is Iman. So I will talk about the manufacturing process. So manufacturing process is actually the process for the factory will do for anything for manufacture for the item. But for the Muhammad Fauzi company, we don't have the manufacturing process. So I will talk about how we buy from the factory. So the step one is the selection of the whole supplier. I mean like we have three suppliers that we choose as Kapada Boutique. Mahe International and Intiyas Maju Enterprise. So, and then the step two, we are sourcing a fabric. Uh, finding a material and fabric can be daunting a process. There are so many type of fabric that we can choose to fit the concept for Mohamed Fawzi Company. So the selection of fabric will be based on the concept of Sal Shaikat Mohamed Fawzi. So um, the fabric that we want to find is not easy to sweat and then it's a cool fabric and then easy to care as well. And then the step three, we have a size grading. So each brand has the idea body type in mind as they develop their clothing product. Because Mohamed Fauzi company, they're having a standard for the Allah to create consistency fit. And then the step four, after finishing with all the variety choices and items for fabric and sizes, so Mohamed Fauzi company will make a purchase on some of the quantity that have been agreed to buy. As for now, we only use a delivery by ourselves so we will pause it to the next slide okay so this is a physical plane layout by the Muhammad Fauzi company so as you guys know we we sell and we operate in the night market so you can see the entrance why we choose this kind of layout because um, we want to make a cut customer more comfortable to, to come in and then why we put the kids with uh, and then we not to hang it up because we want to make sure the kids can choose their own clothes and then we put the major is upstairs because it's easy to customer to have a look and then that's all for me I will pass to the next presenter. Um, thank you uh, Encik Nur Ahmad. Uh, so uh, I will present about uh, operational plan. So uh, first one is operational plan objective. So it will improving the quality as and the operational goals, uh, as in the increasing the sales, uh, strengthening the uh, brand and knowing the budget and other as. Okay. So next, uh, we go straight to the flow of order. So flow of order of the purchase is uh, first one uh, for the customer is uh, enter the store. So customer that uh, attract to go into the store will be greeting with uh, the co the worker and also will be asked uh, do you want anything so the next one is the review the product so customer will try to look up what they want and here here our worker will be ready with anything that the customer will ask and also the worker will know all about the product in the store try and fit things so customer that wants to buy the product must find the right size for them and hear them will be asked about the product to, to the worker. Next one is the choose the right product. So the worker will give them the right size of the product and if they like it, they will buy it. So when uh, when the customer want to buy it, so the next piece uh, is uh, to pay at the worker. So when the customer is like the product, they will pay the cut money to, to the uh, worker. Last one is the get the product. Lastly, the customer will get the product in the plastic and bring to the home. So the third one is the operational budget for a year 2022. So as you can see at the picture, I already put uh, the, the financial uh, for the operational plan budget. So for the capital is a hundred, uh, hundred, uh, 150,000. Uh, uh, 
So then for the wearable cost is the salary is a twenty eight thousand two hundred twenty four. For the stock is twenty nine uh twenty nine thousand eight hundred, and for the fixed cost is the equipment is a one uh one thousand two hundred ninety eight uh ringgit seventy five cent, and for the rent is a three three thousand eight hundred forty. So the total is it will be six uh sixty three hundred one uh one uh, one six two seven five cent. Okay, for the next slide is the assessment of the risk. So this will be evaluate the critical risk of the business. So for the first one is the business interruption risk. So they are forced not to open the business due to the unfavorable condition. Because we know that night market shop is a trade in the open areas. So because they have to close during the rainy season. For example, almost one month they don't open the business because of the rainy days. For the solution. They need to put a waterproof canvas around the store, so the canvas can cover the rain in case the water going inside. So the budget for this solution is a forty ringgit because each waterproof is a twenty ringgit. So the next one is the financial risk. When open the small business, especially in the night market, the company will face the problem in term of income because the target market is depend on the custom the customer that visit the night market. So. They just uh, uh so because uh customer uh so because uh customer uh certain customer will uh fill up the time just to come to the night market so they they don't doesn't think to buy anything okay so the third one is the competitors so one of the biggest challenge to open the shop in the night market is the to compete with the other competitors because they are already be in the field for uh, many years so uh so because of that they have create the loyal customer. So for the solution, the company is uh is stay up to date with the price, product, and also the service. For example, here they present to the customer variety product and they set the price absolutely absolutely follow the others uh, competitors, and and also the worker are helpful, kind, sociable to answer any question and other ask. So that's all from me. I will pass to the next presenter. Okay, thank you. Because you read, so my name is my, my name is Moni Shraf. So I'm going to elaborate more about financial assessment of Shazwan Fauzi's company. So, uh, based on uh, pro forma income statement for the year 2021, we can see that uh, Shazwan Fauzi company for their total revenue is 100,080 ringgit, and their total expenditure for the year 2021 is 5,700, and for their net profit is sixty thousand seven hundred five thousand and thirty cent, and also their gross profit for two thousand thirty one is seventy thousand two hundred and eighty. So based on their financial assessment, it is it is average for SME enterprise SME company. So next slide. So in order for them to move forward, there are few suggestions that our group have uh, recommended, which is the first one is by eliminate eliminate eliminating debt so by eliminating debt that might become a liability it's it's ensure that uh, the company can attain more more profit than it should and also the second point is to boost company saving so boost uh, by boosting company saving they have a uh, uh, reliable cash for let's say like something might bad happening they have some they have some, they have some sort of uh, saving in order to to uh, to replace the current money that might actually that might actually not uh that might that that, that they might not that, that they might not attend attain and then the third one will be re by reducing overhead costs so overhead uh, overhead cost is referring to continuous company costs that are not directly due to the manufacture of product and services. So it is important for budgeting purposes by estimating how much organization has to charge uh, for its product or services in order for them to make profit. And the last one will be selecting the right investor. So for them to be able to, to upgrade their businesses into bigger, bigger segmentation to be able to engage their customer in wider range of area, it's, it is important for them to have an investor as well. So I think that's all from us. 
So thank you very much. Thanks for watching.